Are you thinking about moving to Eagle Mountain, Utah? Well, I'm going to share with you the good things about living in Eagle Mountain and also the things that may make you not want to move to Eagle Mountain. I'll also, at the end of this video, give you the reason that we didn't move to Eagle Mountain because we almost did, so stay tuned. Welcome back everybody, I'm Greg Speckman. I'm with the Living in Salt Lake City channel. So if you wanna learn everything about what it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, and even play here in the Salt Lake City area, then please click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I've been getting a ton of people that are just like you that are reaching out to me about making that move to the Salt Lake City area. I absolutely love it. So please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Let's get talking about moving you here to Eagle Mountain. So you're probably wondering where Eagle Mountain is actually. Well, if you start out in Salt Lake City and then you drive and then you drive and then you drive some more, then you're going to get to Eagle Mountain. Well, it's not really that bad, but it is about 50 minutes to Salt Lake City, about 50 minutes to the airport about 40 minutes to Provo. You go south on I-15 and then you go out west to Eagle Mountain. And then as far as Provo goes, Provo is east of you. So let me show you on the map where Eagle Mountain is actually. All right, so Eagle Mountain is highlighted here in red. You can see Salt Lake City up here to the north. So you would just go down I-15 and then shoot over here to Eagle Mountain. And then Provo is over here. Uh, to the east on the other side of Utah Lake, which Utah Lake is right here. So Pro, it goes Provo, then Utah Lake, and then Saratoga Springs, then Eagle Mountain. And if they built the bridge across it, which someone had mentioned would be super cool, that would make Eagle Mountain incredibly accessible to that area as well. So I guess the number one negative thing about living in Eagle Mountain is going to be the traffic. And there's really two ways that you have to get to Eagle Mountain. You're going to take either 73 or Pony Express Parkway. That's pretty much it. Other than you could take some little other side roads that maybe to get around certain ways. But those are the two main ways in and traffic at the peak times is terrible. Probably some of the worst traffic that I've seen anywhere uh, in Utah County or and especially here in Eagle Mountain, the Saratoga Springs area. But you just need to know that if you're trying to get anywhere during the, the rush hour, peak times of day, traffic sucks. So you're wondering about the schools in Eagle Mountain. Well, Eagle Mountain is part of the Alpine School District, which has pretty good ratings. The schools have increased in ratings over time over the past few years in Eagle Mountain. They range anywhere from five, sixes, sevens, and eights on the Great Schools website. And niche.com gives it a B for schools. So that gives it pretty decent schooling. I don't have any reference yet as far as that goes personally because I haven't lived there, so I can't tell you my kids what we think of the schools. But some of the schools aren't going to be all that rated great, so you're going to need to check into that, and we will definitely cover that if schools are important to you when we talk. But that's um, about the schools. The next pro is going to be growth. So Eagle Mountain is a growing city. It is has tons of new construction homes options. It has new businesses. Uh, Eagle Mountain is exploding in size. It went from a population in 1996 of like 250 people to now over 50,000 people call Eagle Mountain home. And we're going to see even more than that. We'll probably have 100,000 within the next 10 years in Eagle Mountain. Eagle Mountain's about 50 square miles in size, so that gives you an idea of like what size it is and that it still has a ton of room to grow. My next con about living in Eagle Mountain would be the lack of bars and entertainment options in Eagle Mountain. Well, this is a con for now. I think at some point they will expand and grow and add that sort of thing to Eagle Mountain or for sure into Saratoga Springs. But the nearest fun thing that you can go do would be to go to Fat Cats, and that's in Saratoga Springs. And they have like a bowling alley, laser tag, uh, mini golf thing all inside of that, which is super cool. But realistically, if you're looking for a bar, pub, some sort of nightlife stuff, Eagle Mountain is not that kind of place. It's more like a bedroom community or just an area where you would live and do all the thing, fun things that you can do there that don't have to do with um, that sort of thing 
outdoors is a big plus for there, and we'll cover that as well. My next pro about living in Eagle Mountain is one of the reasons that I almost moved to Eagle Mountain, and I'll share with you at the end of this video about why we didn't end up in Eagle Mountain, of course, but you have access to Five Mile Pass. So Five Mile Pass is an amazing outdoor area where you can camp, you can hike, you can dirt bike, you can take your side-by-sides out, and four by four. So it's where I will go take my Jeep out a few times a year and just go play in the dirt. They have some sand there that you can uh, drive in, mud that you can drive in. You can see the mud from my car on the uh, intro of this video, but it's super, super cool. Then you also have little Moab that's not far away uh, from you as well. And that's a great place to go. And it's a little more challenging for some of the crawling that you get to do there. And if you go there, you'll get an idea of why they call it Little Moab if you've been to Big Moab. The next con on the list is going to be your shopping and restaurants in Eagle Mountain. And that's if you need a Target, Walmart, Costco, you're going to be headed to Saratoga Springs, which isn't very far, but it's not in Eagle Mountain. You have a Ridley's to shop at. And then you also have a Macy's for groceries. Not a ton of choices to eat for food, although more and more places are going to crop up. But Village Pizza would be a great place for you to try, China Express, and then they have some other little places for you to eat at as well. But uh, you're not going to see your Olive Garden there yet. I think it, the town's going to need to grow a little bit more to add something like that. But that'll come as Eagle Mountain grows. The next pro on the list is the Ranches Golf Club. So if you're a golfer, you got a pretty good golf course there. It's rated four stars on Google for Google reviews. I've heard from people that have golfed it that it's a fun course. The greens are kept up. The fairways are now kept up. It's really improved over the last five years. Apparently, it changed ownership groups, and they put a ton of money into it. And one of the cool things you can do is buy a home on the golf course. So if you want to have golf course living, you can definitely do that, which would be amazing. Uh, so that's uh, the next pro. The next pro on the list is going to be your friendly people that you're going to find in Eagle Mountain. And you're going to find friendly people all throughout the state of Utah, for the most part, little pockets here or there or exceptions to the rule. But just know that by choosing to live in Utah, you're going to end up with nice neighbors, friendly neighbors, neighborly neighbors, that sort of thing. And it's all up to you to keep that going and make sure that you spread that friendliness to everybody else when you come here. Another pro would be you can really stretch your dollar here in Eagle Mountain. And it's cheaper to live in Eagle Mountain than it is in Saratoga Springs or Lehigh, American Fork. And let's take a look right now on my website, thespackmangroup.com, at some of the housing prices currently in Eagle Mountain. All right, currently there's 197 homes for sale in Eagle Mountain. And here are some of the prices. So you got a 3-2 for 461, 4-3 for 684. This one looks really nice. Uh, 4 3, 541, a 6 4, 6 bedrooms, 4 bath, 590, 499, 689. Here's a 3 bedroom, 3 bath on 2.3 acres of land for 1.5 million. Um, then we just go down the list 500s, 400s, 500s. So, really, your range it looks like, according to what I'm seeing right now, is anywhere from the 4 to 700 range is going to be what you're going to be looking at in Eagle Mountain. If you have a second, guess in the comments below what you think the most expensive home is for sale in Eagle Mountain, and I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so this would be the most expensive home currently on the market in Eagle Mountain, a three-bedroom, three-bath, 2.35-acre place, 4,500 square feet. For 1.459 million. So that just gives you an idea. And then the home below is going to be more like what the actual home of a luxury home is there, which would be a four bedroom, five bath, 5,100 square foot for 1.4 million. And that won't be on your two acres of land. And then let's see what the least expensive home is. Looks like you can get a three bedroom, two bath condo for 280,000 right now. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what some of the home prices are currently in Eagle Mountain and hopefully that matches uh, the budget that you're looking to spend. So reach out if I can help you once again.
The next pro on the list, jobs. So we have Tyson Fresh Meats that has a place there. There's a Facebook and Google data center. There's a number of other companies that are buying land in Eagle Mountain and Eagle Mountain with its 50,000 people is going to just keep growing. So there's going to be more and more companies that move and relocate to Eagle Mountain, especially with some of the tax incentives they're offering uh, companies to move there. But it's a great place to get a job and schooling would be another uh, avenue for employment as well. And then I told you that I would share with you why we didn't end up in Eagle Mountain. So we, when we first relocated here to Utah from Nashville, we traveled all over, uh, looked in Riverton, Harriman, South Jordan, uh, Draper, Sandy, Lehigh, pretty much most of the areas. I guess if you drew like a circle uh, right around Draper of 15 miles, we hit all those cities. And so Eagle Mountain came up on the list uh, mainly because of Pricing of homes, we could spend 600000 and get a really nice home in Eagle Mountain as opposed to something uh, more north, spending 600000 You don't just get as much for your money. You can still get a home. It's just not the same level of niceness. So we looked at Eagle Mountain, and my wife and I, we talked about it, and we did the drive one of the mornings on Redwood for her because she worked in Riverton and wanted to find out how long it would take. And... We didn't really like the traffic that you have to deal with getting out of Eagle Mountain and then going up Redwood to get into Riverton. And that was really the main way you would go to get over to I-15 and then go up that way would take longer. And so that didn't really work well for her. She would have spent a bunch of time on the road every day in the morning and then coming home. And then me being in real estate and helping people like you guys relocate here. Uh, my office um, that I'm at is in South Jordan, right in Daybreak, and I wanted to stay with that office. I could have went to one in Orem, but that would have been just as far. They don't have an Eagle Mountain or Saratoga Springs office as of yet, so it kind of ruled some of that out as far as that location. And then when I was comparing it to doing work, which I also sell real estate in Nashville, uh, where we were there in Franklin, Franklin was centrally located. It was about 45 minutes from everything. Well, that's where Harriman is for the most part, we can get to most major cities within 45 minutes from Harriman. So that, and then the fact that Harriman to my wife's work was about eight minutes away, made it the place. So it wasn't really anything negative about Eagle Mountain. Would have been nice if they had more shopping and stuff, but it was mainly just drives and location for me to do real estate. And then for my wife to get to and from work, we wanted it close. Hopefully this video about Eagle Mountain makes you want to make that move to Eagle Mountain or maybe you want to explore another city around it or uh, in the Salt Lake City, Utah metro area. And so if that's you, please reach out to me, give me a call and we'll do a Zoom strategy session where we can open up the map on Zoom and kind of go over the different cities. I can talk to you about some of the pros and cons of different ones. And um, since we relocated and know First, we moved to Riverton, then ended up in Harriman. I can help you not have to make that same uh, mistake that we did. So until next time, be rad.